Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to quickly show you how you can recover a deleted storage account if you have deleted within the last 14 days. And hopefully you have the soft delete enabled on that account. So let's go to our uh, Azure and I'm just in one of my storage accounts right in here. And what I'm right now, what I want to show you under the blob service you have the object replication uh, i'm sorry uh, object uh, uh, data protection where is the data process here there's data process so when you deploy you can turn on few things for uh, to give you a little bit of safeguard for your for your for your account like soft delete if you turn on the soft delete in your accounts so it will keep the deleted blobs for here you can specify number of days say i'm going to say 14 days okay uh, so turn on soft delete for containers looks like already enabled okay but turn on for the soft delete for the blobs now i'm going to enable this one turn on point in time recovery for containers you can also enable if you like okay it's going to give you more options uh let's see here the maximum uh, restore point you have some more options available in here uh, then tracking you have turn on uh, personally for blobs turn on uh, turn on blob change feed so all the safety features usually i recommend that you review it and uh, you turn them on so but this is just uh, gonna give you a, a small threshold okay for a for a complete recovery plan or data replication is what you probably should should be doing if your data is crucial is the object replication you should set up a replication rule and uh, you should be sending this account data to a different account okay and uh, just copy everything so if something happens to this account or to this blob to this container your same uh, data is available in another container as well but again this is not uh, what the purpose of this video in this video i just want to show you if you have deleted something how you can recover it so to do that uh, on the very left slide you have all the blades uh, just come down to the very bottom under support and troubleshooting you have the recover delete account so that you can click on it okay so this is going to tell you uh, review the list of storage accounts deleted in the past 14 days so that is that it's uh, 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 keeping track of how many accounts got deleted for this particular uh, uh, subscription that i have and here another thing so if you click on it you see there are a whole bunch of accounts that i have deleted okay i can create any of these accounts but what it's telling so i can select any of them say my rgdb that's the account i want to uh, restore but it's telling please confirm the resource group containing the storage account if you wish to recover still exist if it has been deleted please please recreate it before recovering your storage account so let's try that so my rgdb so do I have that? Is do I have that account? So let's check it out. So let's come back, open another tab. Uh, let's go to resource group. My RGDB is not in here. So what do you need to do? We need to create that account for us. So my RGDB. I want to make sure that everything is uh, exactly that way. So my is small. RGD caps B small. Okay so my rg db and uh, let me make sure if it tells me what location it was uh so the location looks like the storage account was in east us2 so let's, i'm just gonna use this two is two even for this for the container as well east us2 okay it shouldn't matter but i'll still use it and then just review and create so my rg db so the resource group is now available to me okay my rgd there is nothing in here um my rgdb let me come back over here my rgdb so i'm just gonna select that account and just gonna hit recover now note this successful recovery of any storage account is not guaranteed okay even if it's listed above if your storage account was deleted more than 14 days ago uh is a classic account it does not appear above then it cannot be recovered so like this one the one that we tried to recover the cannot be recovered this it just says recovery is failure there was you know it, they were not able to recover that account so 
are we lucky so let's try some rg function we can we recover that one let's just, we need to create this resource group again my rg function so let's try couple more okay uh let's see here home uh resource groups my so create my r g function so make again make sure that you have my r g f is cap function okay my what is it my r g function okay so that's log looks good so i'm just gonna create this one and create and let's try to recover the other one uh, this one if and see if this is something that we can recover okay now it's just recovery in progress uh, storage code for the account uh, it may take few minutes so this one uh, probably giving us a little bit more positive uh, vibe because the last one as soon as we said hey recover it said immediately no we can't do that this one is doing something it's it's like it's trying to recover it it's recovering is very hard and it's saying the recovery of the storage account uh, is in progress this may take a few moments a few minutes okay let it do its job and there we go it's just recovery successful so what we want to do at this time we'll go to the resource group and uh, my function here is the account and uh, let's see where is it so this is uh, i don't see any storage account right here but sometimes uh, the resource that's got recovered it takes a little bit of time uh, to show up so what i'll need to do i need to refresh a couple times and there we go so now you have this so let's go to this account that we just recovered it was definitely deleted uh, within the last 14 days so we were able to recover this account successfully and there are a couple of uh, containers in there and looks like all the data uh, that we deleted they're all available to me and everything looks great and just just to uh, see what kind of uh, configuration i had okay this was a an, an account that was uh, uh, general purpose v1 so this feature is not only is applicable to your v2 but you can use this uh, particular feature to recover your account uh, for from accidental deletions uh, even for storage uh, account that are uh, gen uh, general purpose version one as well all right hope you have learned something and uh, hope you have all the disaster recovery replication everything uh, safeguards available to you uh, if you have deleted something and you say oh my god what i have done so try this feature out and uh, hopefully uh, you're in luck and be able to quickly get your data even if you have uh, disaster recovery and everything enabled uh, this would be a, a quick way to get back your data and uh, get your account back uh, within uh, in your azure environment all right if you like the video give me a like uh, please subscribe and uh, share the video with your friends and um, have a great day thank you